Okay, Josh, just a recap of something that we talked about um, when I visited you guys on Saturday after the mud run. This is called cross friction massage. I'm gonna show you how to do this on the uh, Achilles tendon where it inserts onto the calcaneus. And cross friction massage is basically just used to help stimulate and uh, reactivate that inflammatory process and uh, to kind of get the help he the healing along. It'll actually help break any adhesions that might have d developed or any scar tissue that developed um, as a result of your uh, new running regime. And basically the way it works is it's called cross friction because if you see my Achilles tendon going up and down right here, we're gonna go perpendicular or across, okay, um, at the point of tenderness. So let's just say, you know, maybe from heel striking too much, it hurts right in here and the, the Achilles tendon actually comes all the way down into the you know, the, your heel just right here, actually a little bit further. And what you want to do is you want to dig right in to where that tendon inserts or where it usually hurts. And, you know, this is okay to be painful, but um, more discomfort than pain. One thing that you should know is that um, as you do the cross friction massage, it's just a perpendicular motion against the direction of the fibers. The fibers run this way. So I'm doing cross friction massage 90 degrees in a perpendicular motion like this. And I'm actually applying a decent amount of pressure. On a 1 to 10 scale, I would say 3, 4, uncomfortable, not necessarily too painful, but you know, you can push through it a little bit if you want, not too much, because you don't want to further damage the structure. And you want to do this for about 30 seconds to 2 minutes. In the beginning, it may or may not hurt a lot. That's okay. Just, you know, gauge yourself. And after about 30 seconds to a minute, there should be like an anesthetic effect. Make sure you keep the same pressure. And what's happening is um, the sensation of pain will actually deaden a little bit. After it deadens for uh, or reduces the pain sensation for about 30 seconds, it may come back. Just keep it up until it goes away again. And the whole treatment could take, uh, you know, two to four minutes, maybe three minutes on average, and you're just doing cross friction massage to re-stimulate that healing process in the area of where the damage is, specifically in your calcaneus for this particular type of cross friction massage. And uh, just so you know, I would normally prop my foot up or it'd be better to have someone else do it because right here I'm fully relaxed and they can just really dig in and get in there, okay?